it sounds like a, what a lot of people get stuck with is this idea like, oh, you know, they get way too stuck on analytics, right? Because now with YouTube and Instagram and all these things, it's like, oh, how many people saw my whatever today? How many people engaged with my whatever today? So how do you guide people through that process in letting them know, hey, look, you know, stay to your core message versus worrying about numbers? What, what's usually your approach to that? So, so I think the thing is that one, data is important because data helps us to navigate and move along the pathways to figure out if we should go this way or we should go that way. But when we pull back, there's data for everything and anything has data attached to it. But we will pull back and we realize that the data is going to be there regardless, right? The data is going to be there in every way. But let the data be secondary. The thing that we need to really approach is what's the value add, right? Let's not look at the data. Let's concentrate on the value add. When you add the value, one, when you're showing up as yourself, when you're showing up and you're understanding what your why is and stop trying to figure out the how so much and be connected to the why and adding value, the data will begin to present to you what it needs to present to you. Like coming into this online space, there's all of these people who tell you, like, know your numbers, know your, increase your following and blah, blah, blah. Numbers matter, right? They do matter. And so my background for over 23, 24 years has been an accountant, right? So numbers, numbers are a thing to me. Um, numbers and business operations and all the things, they matter. But how much do they matter if the value that's attached to them is not something that is adding to someone's journey, that is helping someone evolve, that's helping someone grow, and that's creating more of an impact in the life in which you're doing the business that you're doing. The numbers will tell you, you know, it's a report card. It'll tell you where you are, but it shouldn't be the, the main focus. The main focus should literally, what's the value add? And what's your purpose? What's your why? Follow that and all of the stuff will begin to, to come through. Like it'll, it'll, it'll begin to follow. I want to thread exactly on the point you're making because it's really, really important because it adds up to everything else to get to a quote unquote successful point in your life with what you're trying to do. What happens many times is that they don't see results quick enough and they get burnt out and they think no one cares at all about their voice and what they're doing and it's a bunch of whatever. Like, how do you generally approach your partners in that way to be able to let them know, hey, you know what? You are worth listening to and you have something of value to give to people and, and especially on a timeline basis. Why do we want it to happen so fast? What what's the actual outcome or result that we're looking for? Typically, people are working to move fast or get the followers or what? Typically, the next thing is, let me get all these followers so I can make money. And then when you make money, you're making money for what? So you can get a thing. And then when you get that thing, what does that thing bring you? If it's happiness or belonging or or being seen or heard or valued or loved or all those things, if that's what the end result of moving so fast to get all the matrix, all the all the following, all the money, how can you create that without the process, right? 